Have you ever wondered why Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are constantly under the harsh microscope of the British media? It's a question that begs an answer. As the Duke and Duchess of Sussex find themselves relentlessly scrutinized by press and public alike. A recent column by Camilla Tomini in The Telegraph throws this into sharp relief. Tomine criticizes the couple for using their Sussex titles on their new website, suggesting an inconsistency between their public personas and private lives. She implies there's a discrepancy, a dichotomy between the couple's royal status and their desire for a private, independent life. It's a critique that, in many ways, encapsulates the relentless scrutiny they face. It's as if their every move, every decision is held up for inspection, for judgment. One can't help but question, why does the British media maintain such a vested interest in the Sussex's choice of titles, especially when their endeavors seem focused on philanthropy and business? Titles, they can carry weight, can't they? That's the crux of Camilla Tomini's critique in The Telegraph, which takes aim at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's continued use of their royal titles and insignia. According to Tomini, the Sussex's decision to use their royal coat of arms and refer to their children as Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet sends mixed signals. On one hand, they've made a conscious decision to step away from the rigors of royal life, and on the other, they are seemingly clinging to the trappings of their royal lineage. This duality, Tomine argues, creates a disconnect between Harry and Meghan's public and private personas. After all, they've stepped out of the royal spotlight. Yet their new website, Sussex.com, prominently features their royal titles. The question then is why? Why do they continue to use their royal titles post Megxit? Perhaps it's a matter of identity of acknowledging where they've come from as they chart their own course. Or perhaps it's a testament to the power and prestige these titles hold, even in a world that increasingly questions the relevance of monarchy. But whatever the reason, the use of these titles has sparked intense debate and scrutiny. It's a controversy that, like it or not, has become a significant part of the narrative surrounding the Sussexes' quest for independence. This brings us to ponder. What implications do Harry and Meghan's titles have for their efforts to forge a new path outside the traditional royal framework? Scrutiny aside, let's delve into what Harry and Meghan are truly passionate about. The Sussexes have shown a strong commitment to philanthropy, which can be seen through their numerous charitable initiatives. They've been the subject of criticism for what some perceive as a lack of significant contributions since leaving the royal family. This criticism largely overlooks their continued advocacy and the work they've been doing through their Archiwell Foundation. The Archiwell Foundation is the couple's primary vehicle for charitable work, a testament to their dedication to making a difference. The foundation, named after their son Archie, aims to uplift and unite communities, one act of compassion at a time. It's through this platform that they've been able to support causes close to their hearts, from mental health to gender equality and everything in between. It's clear that their philanthropic pursuits are a reflection of their values and aspirations separate from their royal titles. These endeavors give us a glimpse into Harry and Meghan's true characters, showing us their commitment to service and their desire to make the world a better place. Despite the criticism and scrutiny, they continue to use their platform to advocate for change. So, how do Harry and Meghan's philanthropic initiatives reflect their values and aspirations beyond their royal titles? And what does this say about the ongoing public and media scrutiny they face? It's a question worth pondering as we continue to watch their journey unfold. So, what have we unraveled today about the Sussexes 
and the British media's portrayal of them. We've delved into the intense scrutiny Prince Harry and Meghan Markle endure, with every decision under the microscope, particularly their use of Sussex titles. This criticism, as reflected in Camilla Tomini's column, suggests a discrepancy between their public and private personas and hints at an unwelcome association with their royal lineage, even post Megxit. We've also explored the couple's philanthropic pursuits, from their high profile media appearances to their advocacy through the Archiwell Foundation. Despite the narrative that their post royal endeavors lack substance, Harry and Meghan's initiatives reflect their values and aspirations beyond their titles. In essence, we've dissected the British media's seemingly obsessive and toxic interest in the Sussexes, raising the question of whether their portrayal is fair or biased. Ultimately, the question remains, is the British media's portrayal of the Sussexes fair, or is there more to Harry and Meghan than meets the eye?